So this is my review of the new Macintosh operating system. I wasn't going to buy this um, latest operating system, but I had some money and it's only $30. And um, after doing some research on it, I found out that uh, the new version of QuickTime for it is like the pro version. So you could either buy the pro version for $30 or you can buy this upgraded operating system and you get their new operating system which gives you back six gigs of space on top of QuickTime. So therefore I bought it. Um, I've watched a lot of videos on the internet people that had problems after they got it installed and uh, stuff like their programs not launching and stuff like that. So I was scared to install it. I actually backed up my system and took all my video off and completely made sure everything was clean. I uh, installed the operating system which took about 45 minutes to complete the install. And this is a iMac, um, I got 4 gigs of RAM in it. It's a pretty fast machine, it's a 500 gig hard drive. And uh, it did pretty good. Um, Afterwards, I did notice that the programs do launch a little bit faster. I did get a lot of space back. And then I used another tool that gets rid of all the extra languages like Chinese and all this junk that you're never going to use. Or me, I'll never use it. So that gave me back, you know, more space on top of that. But um, it did pretty good. Um, I hadn't had any problems and I've been using it for a couple of days. Um, I've, I've really noticed a lot of people have had problems with their like certain applications not working and stuff. And so I went out like prior to the install and downloaded all the newest versions of all the software that I use. And then after I did the install, I did all the updates for everything. And uh, all my programs worked. So. I don't know. Maybe I'm just lucky. But uh, I have like Photoshop CS3 on here and uh, stuff like that. And it works. I have no problems at all. I haven't had any crashes. The only thing that I did have a problem with is my VMware Fusion. Um, but it's not a legit copy. So um, I'll have to buy a legit copy of it. But I'm actually using something else for the moment. But uh, other than that, everything went really good. Um, I basically would say if, if you have a Mac, I definitely recommend buying it, especially if you do video editing. Um, the extra features of QuickTime that allow you just to cut and trim video is awesome. So definitely, uh, I give this as far as like the free stuff that comes with it. I give it about a 5 out of 8 um, just because it's a freaking operating system. It's supposedly 64 bit, but it's really not. It's only 64 bit. You have to hold like two keys down on boot for it to be 64 bit. I don't even know what keys they are because I read it in here and was like, okay, whatever. I can never use it. So normally it boots 32 bit mode. So I mean, like there's no applications I use that are 64-bit. I don't even know of any applications out there right now that are 64-bit. So, whatever. I mean, I just use it for video editing and photo editing and stuff like that, making my YouTube videos. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty good operating system. I think the 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 space you get back and the full version of freaking QuickTime is worth the money. It also updates some other stuff. Then you got exchange supports built in now and all that, but you know, I'm not using any of that crap. But I don't know. Tell me how you thought if you upgraded to this below. Have a good day.